Hello, everybody. This is Mrs. Clemens, and this is Psychology Flipped. Don't forget, guys, as always, keep calm, study psychology. All right, so we are in our fourth and final session of talking about personality and what makes us who we are. In the first one, we talked about trait theory. In the second one, we talked about behavioralistic, humanistic, which is Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and cognitive theories. Oh my gosh, then the third one scared us all when we were talking about Freud and psychoanalytic theory. And now we're going to talk a little bit more. Uh, we're going to talk about assessment of personality and how we decide what kind of personality you actually have. And we're going to talk about a little bit with personality disorders. So let's get started. So to assess our personality, um, well, the first one is us reporting our own things and so one of the activities we're actually doing it in class is where you're having to self-report what do you think could be a problem with self-reporting uh yes you're right you could lie or maybe you don't um truly know or maybe you're skewed or maybe you're answering the way you think people should want or would want you to answer um so it's not always the most reliable um then they have what's called projective techniques, where what you have is a, psycho a psychologist, a professional, that they interpret um, how you uh, react to different stimuli. And so um, one of the first ones uh, is, and it is not reliable, is Rorschach ink blots. So we're actually going to do some stuff with this in class too. Um, and if you actually look at our class blog, you see that I have an ink blot that I have at the top of the screen there. Um, so what does this mean? Well, I look at it and I think it's a wolf or a demon or something. Um, I don't know. What does that mean about me? You know, am I... Uh, a deviant kind of person or if I look at it or I don't know look at this one and I think oh look they're in love and they're so happy and they're dancing and they're they're holding a, a baby with a cradle or something I don't know it means something else um, again how can you say what anything means? Although I like this one because I used to think it was a turkey, but then somebody said it's somebody riding a motorcycle like a big kind of Harley I don't know. What does that mean? It doesn't really mean much of anything. And um, and then there's sort of this thing called a thematic um, apperception test where you tell a story about a scene. So, you know, it's a house in the woods. Well, oh, you know, um, an axe murderer is in there and he just cut up a whole bunch of kids. Like if I said that, does that mean I'm, you know, wacky? I don't know. We don't. It's hard is the, the key thing there. It's hard to assess somebody's personality. All right, so personality disorders, uh, what everybody's been waiting for. Um, so for you to have a disorder, you have to experience a behavior that differs noticeably from the expectations of the individual's culture. Now here's the thing you have to understand. Everyone's culture has different ideas about what is normal. You know, in America, we wear black to funerals. In other countries, they wear all kinds of different colors. In America, we wear white to a wedding. Um, you go to Asia, and they might wear red, to, excuse me, red to a wedding. So, um, you know, that's just one example of um, how cultures are very, very different. So just because we think somebody is acting weird in our, our culture, they might be acting perfectly normal in another culture. All right, so you have to have two of the following, all right? Um, cognition, that their perception and, inter and ugh, interpretation of themselves or others and events might be off. So, um, oh my God, I just heard something outside. I bet you it's, it's the government. They're there, they're going to get me. I know that they're watching everything that I do. They want to know about my personality PowerPoints. Um, so if your cognition is off, your 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 interpretation of things, um, you might have you might have uh, an issue. Now this is how you say this: affect. So it's not like effect; it's affect. Um, the range, intensity, and appropriateness of your emotional response. 
this actually happened to me. I feel like, honestly, that these presentations really are reviewing or revealing how crazy I maybe am. But um, one time, this kid said to me, like, so matter of, of, of fact, that their grandmother died. And it was just weird how they said it. And I was so weirded out about it that I started laughing uncontrollably. You might imagine that the kid was then upset about that. Um, that's that's improper affect, all right? Just like, you know, people laughing at a funeral or, um, you know, definitely you always hear about um, pregnant women, you know, reacting inappropriately. That they might cry when something, you know, like a commercial or something um, goes on. So, yeah, so affect would be one of these things. Interpersonal functioning, how well you get along with others. Um you know, are you able to work with with people in teams? Are you um, a loner? Are you, um, I don't know, just not able to communicate with other people well? And then the last one is impulse control, your ability to resist temptation. So um, I definitely see that a lot with my, a lot of my students, that they just can't resist. They see something cool that I might have sitting out, and they have to pick it up, and they have to touch it. And thus... I try not to keep cool things out because you guys will touch them. Thus, think about um, in our class recently, my big world globe beach ball. I had to put it away because you guys lack impulse control. So these are some personality disorders. Now, we're not going to go way into depth with them because we're going to focus on antisocial personality because you guys love serial killers and I think because you guys might actually be serial killers. So I'm just going to mention them. So odd or eccentric um, disorders, paranoid that you're suspicious, you're mistrustful of others, like who's there, what's going on. Uh, schizoid is a lack of interest in social relationships. You um, are very kind of a, a loner, secretive, um, you know, cold. Uh, schizotypal, um, now you're, you're socially isolated, but you also might have um, odd thinking or beliefs. Um, you might have some sort of weird manifesto that you're writing about how you're going to leave society. Uh, dramatic emotional or erratic disorders, here's everybody's favorite, antisocial. Um, when you have disregard for um, or violation of the rights of others. So um, you just don't have the same kind of conscience as everyone else. And so, yeah, you might be a killer, but you also might be a stockbroker on Wall Street. Um, so we're going to talk a lot, lot, lot more about that in class. Um, borderline, um, that you're very black and white with your thinking. Um, everything's either good or bad. There is no in-between. And yeah, your your mood might switch pretty pretty closely, uh, pretty, pretty rapidly. So you might be happy one moment and unhappy the next. Histronic, um, very attention seeking, very emotional. Um, you need approval. Um, you're just kind of like, pick me, pick me. Um, I've definitely had kids like this in class where um, they'll do anything to get noticed. They just do not care. And then they'll follow you around and ask you a million questions and you know, hey, did you notice that, you know, um, I'm wearing this shirt today because you mentioned the other time that I liked it. I don't know, just kind of wacky. Uh, narcissistic, um, the need for admiration, for attention. Um, it is all about you and no one else. And yeah, you might lack empathy. You don't care that you're picked every time. You don't care how other people might feel. It's all about you. Um, anxious or fearful, avoidant, um, you're, you're inhibited, you feel inadequate, um, you know, you're very, you're so afraid that somebody might not like what you do that you don't even try, you just kind of stay hidden from everyone. Um, dependent, um, those are the, sort of the clingy people that, you know, are, are you going to the bathroom? I'm going to go to the bathroom with you. Um, you know, that it's all about, um... You know, I can't do anything on my own. I need to have somebody else there. Obsessive compulsive personality disorder. Now, this is different from OCD, and we'll be talking about that later. But inflexible, um, very rigid, all about following rules or procedures, very perfectionistic. They might have um, some sort of code that they kind of stick to, um, very orderly. 
All right, folks. Well, we are done with personality. I hope you learned a bunch. And I can't wait for us to do all the nifty things that we're going to be doing in class. Take care.